What's up guys? It's like nine o'clock, uh, December 19th on a Thursday. Work night, so gonna get out real quick here. Hopefully do, I got three stands picked out. Uh, all of them set up really well for the wind tonight. Southwest wind, it's like 27 degrees right now. Four to five mile per hour wind. It is pretty quiet out and we've got some crunchy snow, so we're gonna have to set up fairly close to the truck. Um, on one spot and then we'll see how the other two go got a new toy on top of the 6.5 Grendel Got that sided in two nights ago and tonight's it's maiden voyage So we're gonna see how it does and hopefully they'll get some footage for you guys Also wanted to mention something else real quick got a tournament coming up uh, in a little over a month January 23rd or 24th uh, Tim will be doing that hunt with me. We do that every year and uh, plan to bring the video equipment along this time and record all that. You guys make sure and follow along. That's going to be some good stuff. And then there's going to be plenty of other coyote hunts in between now and then. So let's see what happens tonight. I'm pretty excited. Got some good conditions. Got some snow on the ground. Let's get after it. Here I am on stand number one, just kind of scanning around with the Healy on. And you'll notice here very far off, probably five to 600 yards away, is a bobcat. It's going to be kind of hard to tell, but I switched to picture in picture here. At this point, I had done probably three to four different rabbit distress calls, each of those running maybe three to four minutes with an additional three to four minute break in between each call. I hear something in this ditch down to my south. And then I noticed this coyote crawl out of the ditch. I look back through the video here, and from the time I located this coyote to whenever I shot it was an additional eight minutes. It just kept taking its time, walking towards me, and it looked like to me it was just kind of stopping along the way, smelling its surroundings, of course, and also eating some mice. I'm going to kind of pick and choose segments here until we get it closer into range. Once these video files are downloaded from the Thermion, the clarity is not near as good as what you're actually seeing through the scope itself, but it's still pretty impressive. All right, guys, yes, I uh, just knocked one down out here. Uh, first time out with the Thermion and uh, turned out pretty well. So got my good camera tonight. If you guys missed the last video, didn't have it with me on the recovery, but let's take a short little hike up here and see what we got on the ground. Got the old lucky duck right here. Turn this bad boy off. I guess him to be probably 65 yards. He probably would have came in closer, but I want to stop him right there. I zeroed this thing at 75 yards.
Can hide up here, yes. Some eyeballs. Make sure he's dead. Zoom this thing out a little bit. He's done. All right, guys, it's awesome. A little bit bloody back there. I'm gonna keep that part out of the video if I can. Put the hurting on him though. The old 6.5 grand old shooting uh, 123 grain SSTs from Hornady. little mail and get the old coyote drag on him and get him back to the truck head to the next spot all right guys I want to take a quick minute just to show you my stand setup on this location what I had here was wind coming out of the south you'll see right back here that's my truck I'm probably 50 yards from the truck and then the wind's blowing right to the vehicle, right to my truck. So I walked out here because the snow is so loud and crunchy, set up pretty close to the truck. And then this allowed me to call this whole field, which you can see in the thermal, not right here, but the coyote came from right down here out of the creek and right up there into about range of 65 yards. So the key takeaway from this stand is the wind was perfect, ideal location, that's why I came here. And you just don't be afraid to set up close to the truck if you have to. Uh, I've killed him closer than this, setting up next to the truck on uh, loud and crunchy snow. But uh, we're gonna get to the next spot and see what happens there. Now I'm at stand number two, and just as I was getting set up, I heard a pack probably half a mile to three quarters of a mile to my south. So I continued getting set up and stayed quiet for a little while, and that triggered probably two to three more coyotes, five to 600 yards in the wood line of this field that I'm set up in right now. I let a little bit of time pass and went right into interrogation house which was a male-female pair howl. I stayed quiet for three to four minutes and then went straight into pup distress and had this curious male come out of the wood line. At this point, I guess him to be around 200 yards. Once I locate or notice that a coyote is interested, I will work on decreasing the volume of the call to keep things interesting for the coyote. I feel like if I keep at the same volume, it eventually starts to burn out their ears. Maybe being too loud, maybe not being quite enough, but I try to keep my hand on the remote and manipulate the volume of the call.
and you'll notice here in a little bit he gets spooked by something off in that wood line and then I work on stopping him with some short quick howls of my own I always continue to play pup distress even after a shot is fired. There have been several times where a coyote has came back in interested. Even though a shot was fired, they still remain curious and will come in to check and see what might be causing the distress. I try to do this for maybe two to three minutes after the shot is fired, then go quiet for another two to three, maybe five minutes, and then call it quits. Yes! What's up, guys? Man, I'm fired up. That was awesome. The first set where I killed that last coyote was right at 35 minutes when he came in. It was like six minutes here when this one came in searching. So out here by myself, wish I had somebody else with me so somebody else could run the camera or I could run the camera for them. But doing this on my own, bringing you guys with me, I'm glad you're here. Let's go check out this dog. This just shows guys, you gotta get out here and just keep grinding, keep on trying. Man, some nights I come out and there's just nothing going on. I know it seems like I show you guys only the good stuff. I could make these videos an hour long, showing you all the boring parts, the empty stands. But man, this was an awesome night. Two for two so far. Look at this. Some coyote tracks here. Those are from probably last night, it looked like. So, this coyote came in pretty close and then got scared by something off here in the woods. You guys can't see that, but there's a wood line over here. Got scared. I think this might be his tracks right here. Yeah, those look fresh. So he ran out here. I was struggling to get him to stop. He was nervous about something in the woods there. Still on his trail here. Circled back here. Just stopped him right out here somewhere. A little bit farther than I thought, but man, I spun him right as soon as I hit him. He didn't like it. There we go. Oh. Took him a little shit there. Spinning, slinging. Oh man, that's a good one. Oh nice. Another male. Oh wow. What a night so far, guys. This is crazy. Two for two tonight on a work night. About 11.30 right now. Just out here grinding, 20 degrees. It's having the time of my life. Could be at home sleeping, but I wouldn't be getting ready to drag this coyote to the truck. Let's get him loaded up. Heavy one there. Here we are guys back at the house. Hopefully you can hear me because the heater's running on the house here. But got the coyotes back here at the house. Just wanted to close out this video, kind of do a recap on what went down tonight. It's a work night and conditions were good, so I wanted to get out and planned on doing three or four different stands tonight. But uh, things kind of changed here real quick. First stand, uh, called this one in right at 33, 34 minute mark. Uh, went through a couple different rabbit distress calls. Went completely quiet for probably five to seven minutes. Uh, then went into pup distress. Uh, let that run for a while. And then with the crunchy snow, I heard something coming up out of the creek bank. 
and looked up there with the thermal and this one was crawling out and ended up it took its time i think it was kind of mousing on its way because it would stop and act like it was kind of eating on some different stuff smelling around and then ended up calling in to probably i'm going to guess 65 75 yards something like that uh, put a good clean shot on it knocked it down with the new thermion xp38 here uh, love this scope so far this thing's awesome just got it this week uh, then on to stand number two and this one was a completely different type of stand uh, i always like to make sure hop out of the truck and then scan with a the thermal or back when i was using red lights i would scan uh, right when I got out of the truck just to see what was out in the field see if there's anything out there so I scanned uh, nothing was out there walked out to my location which was probably only 35 yards in front of the truck because it's crunchy snow I uh, didn't want to make a whole lot more noise than I had to got out there and right as soon as I was setting up uh, there was a uh, there was a group pal going on probably I don't know I'm gonna guess half a mile three-quarter of a mile uh, to my south so I let that go on and then that triggered uh, probably two or three more coyotes a lot closer to me, probably five to 600 yards in the wood line. And I just kind of got set up, let things stay quiet for a little bit, let things settle down. And then I didn't even do any rabbit distress, any type of distress there. I went straight into an interrogation how, male, female, pair how, and let that set quiet for probably four to five minutes. And then, went into pup distress again and this one over here uh, bigger male both of these are males here tonight uh, this bigger male came in curious what the heck was going on and called him in to probably 75 maybe 85 yards and just put a perfect shot on him he spun around a few times there didn't like it at all and uh, that was the end of it so like I say I had planned on mixing in probably three to four different stands tonight but it's already midnight right now got work tomorrow so i'm going to continue to do this kind of running series throughout this whole coyote season uh, if there's anything in specific that you guys want to see on some of these videos maybe more detail on stand setups uh, a lot of times i'm out hunting by myself so it's really hard to you know kind of show everything hold the light in one hand with it being nighttime and then holding the camera in the other but hey i'm here to help you guys out and just comment down below, let me know what you guys would want to see, um, any recommendations, anything like that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this stuff so far, and make sure and stay tuned for the next video because it's coming. We're not stopping now, just getting started. Happy hunting, be safe, see you guys, bye.